Satisfied by what I had heard at the medical examiner's report, I paid a little visit to the morgue and found myself a chatty attendant with a taste for scotch. What he told me made chopped liver of the needle puncture and loss of blood and explained why they hadn't let me look too closely at Gail Manning the night before. Well, uh, no, 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 thank you, thank you, no, no, thank you very much. You go right on ahead, though. Now, look, right off the top, you know we can't link these two killings unless we know whether Ethel Parker has a needle puncture, too. She has. And that's not all. You know something the medical examiner doesn't? Mm -hmm. What? First, you owe me ten bucks for a bottle of scotch. Mm -hmm. What? Yep. Bought for one anecdotal morgue attendant. Okay, keep talking. Hurry up. Uh-huh. Yeah, Ethel Parker not only had a needle puncture in the back of her skull uh, and loss of blood, she also had a broken neck. Well, that's not so unusual in the case of a straggling. Gail Manning also had a broken neck. So what? Maybe I ought to give it to you as a morgue attendant told me. He said that the killer had to be an incredibly strong man. Not only were the necks broken, they were crushed. Oh, read on, read on. Oh, no, no, wait a minute! That's what the man said. On the throats of both victims, there was a residue of rotted flesh as if they had been strangled by a dead man. <laughs> Friday, April 7th, 10.21 p.m. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, but Louise Harper's hips could move as fast as her mouth. of the East, and now the world-famous Charisma Beauty. Now I'm dead, Charisma. Why should I do that? I like them. Princess of the East? No. Dimwood of the West. Listen, I just can't talk to you right now. I just, I've got to know algebra. Well, I'm great at figures. I bet you are. Go away. You know, if I could find a way not to eat, I sure could save a lot of time. Yeah, well, let's, uh, let's pick up talking where we left off. I mean, about the guys, uh, thank you, Charlie, yeah, about the, about the guys who come to see you dance, the regulars, you know. Did you find any, uh, any strange ones in there, any odd ones, any weirdos? Uh -huh. They're all weird. I mean, they sit there and stare at you with these big glassy eyes. Any of them could be the strangler for all I know. What's that? Oh, that's the underground tour. A what? The underground tour goes down underneath the Seattle. Oh, oh, you're kidding. Hmm. Yes, there's ruins underneath the streets here, what they call Old Seattle. Isn't that right, Wilma? Oh, I don't know. Here. Oh, thank you. I just love these sandwiches. I was talking about the underground, wasn't I? Yeah, you were, honey. There was this big fire back in 18-something or other, and for some strange reason I don't know about, they built it all back up, twice as big as it was before. Mm. Isn't that right, Wilma? Come on, Gladys. It's almost showtime. 
Although research was never one of my favorite pastimes, I had called on the services of one Titus Berry, guardian of the secrets of Seattle buried in the morgue of the Daily Chronicle. Here we go. Thanks. Most welcome. I envy you. You do? Research. That's where the joy lies. Joy. And the fascination. Let the others scurry about gathering their contemporary bits of gossip. This is where the meat is found. Meat? Yes. For instance, no one has yet mentioned the distinct resemblance between this current series of strangulations and another series in the year 1951. Or was it 52? Yeah, not similar. Oh, extremely similar. Really? He wasn't exaggerating. On March 27th, 1952, one Myra Johns was discovered strangled in an alley in the Pioneer Square area. On March 30th, a second strangulation took place in the same area. On April 2nd, a third. April 5th, a fourth. By April 14th, six women had been strangled, all of them in that area. The stories intimated that certain, quote, bizarre details, unquote, had been repressed by police officials. I wondered what they were. I hardly think we can say we have the same killer now as in 1952. Read on. Again? Again. Incredibly strong and had the rotted features of a corpse? Those are exact quotes, word for word, from Man of Simon Action in 1952. Oh, you know I can't print this. Why not? If you don't know the answer to that, Kolchak, I don't know. I came to Seattle for some peace and quiet. What do I get? You again in another crazy story. Yeah, well, we'll soon see if it's crazy or not. How, asked the red-eyed editor, knowing Because that. if it is the same killer, he hasn't stopped killing. Sunday, April 9th, 1.42 a.m. Joyce Gabriel, on her way home from a late date, didn't know it was a bad idea to be in the Pioneer Square area late at night. Another one. I just settled down, Miss Gabriel. I never saw anything like that in my life. I, I, I don't know why he didn't chase me after, after he killed her. I just, I just, you know, I, I ran as fast as I could until I, I, I Miss Gabriel, saw you. I, now listen, I'm telling you for the last time, I'm getting sick and tired of you butting into my business. Now, will you please let me ask the questions, Mr. Kolchak? Certainly, Captain. All right. Certainly. What did he look like? Are you deaf? Now, look, get rid of that tape recorder, too. Now, what did he look like? Oh, God, I hope I never see a face like that again. He looked like a dead man. Like a what? Like a dead man. No, sir. No, don't say it. I don't want to hear it. What about the broken necks and the rotted flesh and the throats of the three I victims? told you I didn't want to hear it. Besides, not official. Not official? Who cares whether it's official or not? Look, you I'm, know it and I know it. I'm by the possibility that some guy, a killer, that strangled the six women in 1952. But a man, Carl, not some kind of super dead man. That's the way he has been described more than once. I don't care if he's been described that way more than twice. Let me finish my life. Where are you going? of the killer. Listen to this. I intend to walk the streets of the Pioneer Square area every night from now on. Just let him try to kill me if he dares. He may be sick, but he's not crazy. 